Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-1498. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures All instances of SCP-1498 are to be held in standard containment chambers located within Site-77. One technician is to be on hand to answer any calls placed to SCP-1498. Transcripts of all calls must be placed in Site-77's non-anomalous records archive. Any persons found to have interacted with SCP-1498 are to be quarantined for two months or until they show signs of SCP-1498. Subjects showing signs of exposure are to be contained as an instance of SCP-1498-1 which require the same accommodation as instances of SCP-1498. Description SCP-1498 is a collection of 30 autonomous bundles of phone cords and handsets, assembled in such a way that they resemble sheep. Instances of SCP-1498 are fully ambulatory and will wander their containment chambers aimlessly. The words, make your own custom dreamscapes with your friends at the Wanneroy Collective are printed on each instance. If a sapient organism attempts to use one of the phone handsets present on SCP-1498, they will hear three rings, followed by a voice identifying themselves as an operator for the Wanneroy Collective. This voice will instruct the subject on various options they have for dreaming and make suggestions for enhanced dreaming experiences. Following the completion of this call, the subject will lose consciousness for nine hours. When the subject regains consciousness, they will claim to have experienced the dream they ordered, to any exact specifications they have made. Subjects may express a desire to continue using SCP-1498's effect or attempt to reuse it immediately. A transcript of a subject describing their experience while under SCP-1498's effect has been included in this report. The following is an audio recording of D4560 after being exposed to SCP-1498. I was sitting in this room, except it wasn't really a room because the edges were sloped, so it was like a an egg room with green paper, but it wasn't that green. Just a little green here and there. Anyways, I'm right in the middle, sitting on the ground, except of course the fact that I was being supported. It's then I realized that I'm actually a table, like you guys told me to tell the weird sheep phone thing. There's people eating off of me too. Look old, maybe from the 1950s with red faces. That was when we finally hatched and I woke up. As subjects are repeatedly exposed to SCP-1498, they may begin to experience changes to their bodily and mental state. Subjects affected by SCP-1498 will express a desire to sleep as frequently as possible, preferring the use of SCP-1498 if they are able to. While asleep, portions of the subject's cranium and skull will be replaced with portions of telephones similar to those found on SCP-1498. This has manifested in a variety of ways, including subjects coughing up telephones with cords extending into their esophagus, telephone wires beginning to grow in place of hair, ringing devices found on rotary telephones found within the subject's ears which may begin ringing continuously, and vocalizations being replaced with dial tones. Eventually, a rotary phone will assemble itself on the subject's head out of all the components that have been grown within and on their bodies. Subjects will display the same intelligence as instances of SCP-1498 and are to be classified as instances of SCP-1498-1. As of August 19th, 2012, no attempt to restore the intelligence of an SCP-1498-1 instance has succeeded. SCP-1498 was recovered on September 18th, 1965 from an abandoned office complex in Miami, Florida, USA after reports of bizarre livestock reached local Foundation assets. When Foundation agents entered the building, they discovered the SCP-1498 instances, one bedroll, approximately half a ton of rotary telephone components, and two pints of type AB blood in a glass jar. In addition, one pajama onesie, well worn, was discovered folded at the bedroll. Testing has shown several months worth of sweat and body oils soaked into the fabric. 
as of November 14, 1965, SCP-1498 has been classified as Euclid. So, I figured that since they were covered in this lecture, I would give you a little background information on the Wanneroy Collective. OC, or the Wanneroy Collective, is a hive mind entity located in metaphysical space. It is a collective unconscious utilizing the brain power created by sleeping things. It has been known to manifest in physical space as inanimate and organic objects which interact with dream space in a way that favors Wanneroy. This has been disputed by some, as identifying favorable outcomes implies an obvious motive or method of behavior neither of which has been conclusively found across scholarly studies of Wanneroy. Any schemes, motivations, or specific entities identifying as part of Wanneroy are unknown and probably don't exist. Formats to interact with the collective have been documented to resemble contemporary media outlets. This has been confirmed as a lie. The cornfields of the mind are too vast for any trawler to manage on their own. The interfaces are not of the world. They are a reflection of you. You are too shallow to get it in return. Locations where Wanero exists includes all of them. To be less general, here is a list of where some are. In the cold spots of the world that only the hardy can survive in, they are known to have many occurrences of dreams containing sunshine kisses in their margaritas. King Louis XIV of France, both before and after he lost his virginity, every barstool, Rick DiPietro's broken dreams and the shattered hopes of the entire New York Islanders hockey club fanbase. Scott Wilkins and all the people of Scotland, from the Highlands to all of your diaspora in the lower hairs. We have you, Scotland. You are ours. The first known mentions of the Wanneroy Collective can be found in classical Greek mythology where it was a dream-related entity. Since then, it has been found throughout everything. It got into everything before we even knew about it. There are many contemporary organizations with members participating in Wanneroy, and few of them are even aware of it. There are many negative consequences to these and your actions with the Collective. If you suffer from its grasp, that sounds bad. In 2014, the Wanneroy Collective was nominated for the 121st Annual GCCX Award for Absolute Fucking Pointlessness. Wanneroy West is the largest, most coherent collective of Wanneroy in existence. It consists of visiting dreaming humans and pure Wanneroy who have abandoned their bodies completely. Members of Wanneroy West have autonomy and sense of self. Existence in Wanneroy West is generally considered favorable to other large collectives. However, the great consciousness that their minds form, an entity in itself, something like an avatar, does not allow them to die. This is a serious problem as many Wanneroi have grown bored with immortality. Zhupania is a xenophobic, disconnected hive mind contained, for the purposes of your narrative, within a few hundred humans. Each Wanneroi located within this collective is an inferior copy of Kui Shao, a former human and creator of Zhupania. Zhupanian realms are all identical, hostile realms filled with night terrors. Zhupanians are not actively aggressive toward other collectives unless antagonized. Think of them like a beehive. Wanneroy Collective A mysterious, massive collective that many Wanneroy believe inhabits the majority of Earth's flora and fauna. Not much is known about. Wanneroy who joined the Wanneroy Collective are never heard from again, and those that manage to return are twisted amalgams of many different things. Shadow Wanneroy A person's subconscious, their dream self, appears as the gestalt of a person's identity. Wanneroy generally refer to other Wanneroy by this gestalt because they appear as such. For example, there is a down-on-his-luck human named Bob Stevens. While dreaming, he is an ambulatory footstool referred to as quadpedal doormat. Any group of minds can be a collective. Say the Maxwellians learned how to become Wanneroy. There might be a Maxwellian collective or an Are We Cool Yet collective. Okay. Thank you for listening. If indeed you still are, 
and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Bad Luck Lou, It's Not a Spoon, Arbiter Soul, The Morrigan, James Saba, Nicola W, Joker Corvus, Kawaii Firekeeper, King Madding, Samurai Corgis, Daniel, NJ Vojak, Justin Day, and Eric Corbage. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.